In order to be able to share your folders like your mail, calendar, and contacts with other coworkers within your organization or company, your company has to be set up and connected to a Microsoft Exchange server, because if not, you won't be able to share your folders. Now assuming that your company is connected to a Microsoft Exchange server, the next thing you want to do is to be able to set up your permission levels on your folders. In other words, what a user can or cannot do once they access, let's say, your calendar. I'm going to go ahead and click on the calendar folder, and then come up here, and you see the little icon, and below it's got a picture of a hand. I don't know if you can see it's kind of tiny, but anytime you see a hand holding an icon, that means it's giving or it's sharing. Well, I like to know what it's sharing and with whom. To find out, go ahead and right-click on the calendar and go down to Change Sharing Permissions. When you click on it, it takes me right to the Permissions tab, and below it lists what it's sharing and with whom. Default means that it's with anybody within the company that's connected to the Exchange server. And their permission level is that of a reviewer. All they can do is read. They can't create or delete your appointments. And of course you have anonymous, which means anybody outside of the Exchange server won't be able to access your calendar. Now you do have additional permission levels down below, so if you don't want the average coworker to have access and review your calendar, you can of course select it first, come down here and click on the drop down arrow, and view the different permission levels. In fact, let me go ahead and open up Microsoft Word here, and I want to show you the permission levels here. You may want to pause the training video and go over this. But basically what we're looking at here is the ability for anybody to have access to it to only read the calendar, the appointments, not be able to make changes, versus the complete opposite of it is giving them the owner permission, which will give anybody access to do anything including changing the folder permission levels on you. Now you could select the default user or coworker and change their permission and try to select none, but if you do, the Exchange server is going to have a fit because the whole purpose of being set up on an Exchange server is the ability to collaborate and share information back and forth between your Outlook programs. So it's saying, look, you're supposed to be sharing. That's the whole purpose of the Exchange server. The best I can do when you click Cancel is to change it from a reviewer to just showing or displaying whether you're free or not. It won't show the subject of your appointments or the details. In fact, if you want it to show that, you can click on the drop-down arrow and select Free Busy. Also show the time, the subject, and location. And again, that's the best you can do, at least the minimal free busy time to the default user. And if that's what you want, go ahead and set it that way. And then if you have other people you want to give them higher permissions, go ahead and click on the Add button. I'm going to go ahead and double click on Carrie and click OK. And the default that was assigned to her was free busy. Well, I want to change that and give her the publishing author. And all that means is that they can't change the folder permission levels, but they can only modify and or delete their own works they added to the folder. So if they create an appointment or delete it, that's fine. If it's something I created, they can't destroy it. It's just whatever they've done. In fact, once you select a permission level, you can modify it down below. Even though the publishing author has its defaults, you can uncheck that or check additional options and modify it. In fact, when you check it, it goes from publishing author to something custom. So that way you know that it's something outside of the norm here that you see in the list below. I'll go ahead and uncheck that. And again, select publishing author. Go ahead and click apply. And now to quickly review this, the default user can only view if I'm free or busy. They won't be able to see anything else. Carrie will be able to view whether I'm free or busy. Not only that, but to be able to create appointments for me and delete those. Any appointments I create, she won't be able to delete them. She can just schedule around me in my calendar. And then when you're finished, go ahead and click OK. Now once a user is able to access your calendar, which we'll cover over in the next training video, they'll be able to go ahead and open up that calendar even after you deny them permissions. The difference being is that once they can open up a calendar, they'll be able to open it up, but they just after you deny them permissions to view your calendar, they won't be able to see anything. So just keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.